right, we just posted our assignment fives, our spot illustrations. I'm going to scroll up to mine, right? And these are free floating, so they work on any background. Here it is as a magnet. Think of them as a sticker. Our next assignment, assignment six, is to make a poster design with text. So I'm going to go to our homepage, and we're going to go to our next unit. And it's good to be familiar with this before next class. And this unit is unit 12, and it introduces you to type design. We're going to work with your spot illustration, and we're going to do something called text block sketching, or text blocking to figure out how we're going to incorporate type with our image, right? And then put it onto a poster. A lot of design, a lot of planning for our end product here. We're going to learn how to make our own type, often modifying from existing typefaces, sometimes just creating it from scratch, whatever we think will go with our spot illustration and then put it into a poster. So, the first thing you have to have to do immediately, and we'll read through all of this next class, but we need to come up with our wording. So to go with my spot il illustration in assignment five, the wording I wanted, thought about this, to be kind of quirky and fun, because I got the manticore, but I'm doing it more like a children's book illustration, is I want man up to core. So what I'm going to do is open up. I'm just going to do it with my uh, line art. So I'm going to open up my PNG line art, the same stuff that I uploaded to Canvas for assignment five. Then I'm going to expand the canvas size. And you can sketch this by hand as well. You don't need to make it so accurate. But I'm going to make the canvas size now 16 by 20 inches, which is the largest we print in this lab, right? And that shows me the, the area I have where I can make text. Then I'm going to lock that, and I'm going to make a new layer on top of it. And I'm just going to draw in, sketch in. Again, you can do this by hand. I'll do it in red, pretty big. And I know I want man up decor, right? So text blocking means I have to figure out where that's going to go. So I can do this kind of thing, like a banner above it and a banner below. I can see how that could work. So text blocking would be you don't actually write the words. You kind of make the space for them. So it would be like an M, an A, an N, and then a dash, and then really big, so man up, and then in the bottom it would be a T, I, C, O, R, E. A man up to core. So that is one possible text blocking sketch. I'm going to save that to my desktop just as a JPEG. Just like we did multiple sketches for our logo, right? So now I'll post that. This is an example of a text blocking sketch. How are you going to integrate the text with your image? And that's what I want you to come to class with on Wednesday. An idea for what text you want and how you might design it with your image. And you can have multiple solutions as well. And that's it. Just come in, you know, with that sketch. Because that will get us started. All right, so I'm going to post that just to remind you. So you need to know what phrasing you want and then start sketching how you can combine that with your spot illustration. And this, that's called a text blocking sketch. Yeah, you can make it rhyme. 
You can use one word, you can use a whole phrase.